So here's my workbench. Crude but effective. <laughs> a little bit of a disaster right now, but had a lot going on. Power cab. And there it is there, plugged in, and my wires feeding the track here. I'm going to come up with a more permanent plan here down the road. Again, so much is going on. Too much to do and too little time. There's a D13 SRJ uh, decoder, North Coast. It's got the 9-pin plug. And I'm converting all my Atlas units to uh, the 9-pin from the 8-pin. You buy this plug pack and you solder the jumper wires. These here. I'll make a video at some point how I'm doing this. But I just wanted to give a quick update of what I've been working on here. Okay, and this is an Atlas GP40. I converted that one. And also I just installed those bright LEDs on this one that you saw on the Eerie X Eerie Lackawanna SD45. And also this Atlas U23B. I purchased this on eBay a couple weeks ago and it had a DASR decoder in it. So I just uh, changed the light bulbs out and put LEDs in it and it's much better. So, so right now this is the current list of locomotives that I've installed decoders or have decoders in them. I also have um, a few, actually about 10 or so, Atlas locomotives that had the onboard DCC, and I really don't like it. It doesn't function well, so until I can straighten it out, I'm probably going to end up putting DASR decoders in it, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't had the time to research it and fine-tune them, so I'm very happy with the NCE D13 SRJ decoders. Alright, so let's have a closer look at 3050.